Hey, baby dolls in the Landwolf community and everyone else out there, I want to show you something about the reality of holding through a bull market and into a bull market. So right now you have the Landwolf price chart, okay? And it is rinsing jeets once again. There's five times rug attacks, five times vampire attacks. Everyone out there trying to jeet each other out, but the community is still strong, still cranking out the memes. We're not going anywhere. Everybody out here is still keeping a positive attitude. You believe in something. Remember, Landwolf is Peppy's best friend. We're here to win it. Now, here's the thing, friends. I just want to show you something. Now, one of the biggest blue chip memes, so under Peppy, uh, one of the like big memes that hit it on Ethereum was Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10, Inu. Okay, it's ticker Bitcoin. Okay, you always, you always see it with the blue hedgehog. And if you go through Twitter, you can see it as well. So I don't even know if this is AI. You just have, this is just basically going nuts. This is the hat that's actually funny, wearing a hat like me. That's cool. Just going through these friends. Say so Harry Potter, Obama. You see these blue hedgehog stuff. This is actually one of the founders. I think one of the founders. Him. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. You see what I mean? It's all these. It's, all, it's meant to be like a schizo thing. It's really, really cool. Okay, so they took memes to a whole new level. Now, this is a blue chip unicorn meme, okay, pretty much on a theme. But I want to show you about the reality of holding through it because when it first came out, friends, it had, and I want to put it on a daily chart just so you can see how tough the rinsing was at the start. So firstly, when it came out, it just dropped. It goes up and it just jumps. Someone jeets it out 90%. That's it. But then it goes up and it rinses and rinses and rinses and rinses. And then it has its big pump up, okay? But here's the thing. It peaked, friends, in August of last year. So if you have a look at it, what it's been doing now, I just want to show you the reality of this. This distance, all right, it's literally gone nowhere for 287 days, nine months. That's crazy, right? And actually, friends, you want to see the real chart? Look at the Bitcoin WETH chart. So look, look, it's actually, friends, it's pretty much, look at it, it's gone nowhere from around, yeah, from this period. There you go. Almost one year, literally almost one year. So what I'm just showing you is, I'm not saying Landolf's going to go rinse in one year. Remember, Harry Potter, Obama, it launched in 2023. It was a bit more of an uphill battle because you have crypto still in a bear market, pretty much. Oh, because, you know, it's in a bull market. Technical, yes, bull market. But you could tell there's a lot of rinsing. There's a lot of people still on the on the, uh, on the the sidelines. No one knows what's going to happen. Are we going to rug? Are we going to recover? We don't know what's going to happen in the future. But now we have more confidence, right? And we're starting to curl up. So Harry Potter, Obama, obviously one of the coins I own, I love as a lottery ticket as well. It's awesome. But I'm just showing you, right, when you're looking at Landwolf, now you can just see a different lens, okay? So this is what it was able to achieve in a very, very short amount of time, friends. Pretty much a very, very short amount of time, 80, 90 days, three months. But this this is what happens when it's in markets. You see people just exit, and then it takes a couple of people to, like, rinse them out. Rinse them out. They, they sell, they market sell, they go buy other stuff moving up, and then just get chewed up and gobbled up. It's a standard game over and over again. Eventually, though, you've cleared enough people. You don't know how much it's going to take. You don't know when. You just know that, okay, if you keep pushing towards a common goal, towards basically adoption, basically keep pranking out memes, the community just hangs around. If you're just pushing around there, just survive. Friends. It's all about survival. Just survive. You got the, really got the Bitcoin ETF, right? It's, it's almost, it, it's easy now, to be honest. It's, it's easy. Even though you look at the price, you're like, well, we've got a Bitcoin ETF. They just approved the Ethereum ETF. Now we're just waiting for Ethereum to clear $4,000 and $5,000, and then it unlocks demand out there. It's more. Pepe's rising. So you have these things lifting you up, friends. Pretty much it's lifting you up over time. Okay, so I just want to show you this. This is what many of your coins are going to go through. I'm just using this as an example of what actually happens in crypto because when you go back and look at uh, someone's results from a stock, okay, okay cool. I made, I mean, like X amount on this. Yeah, but you don't know, like, okay, there was literally like, you know, one and a half years of this up and down, one and up. And then after this one and a half years, there was like this like final 60 day period where everything started moving. Okay, I'm not saying it's going to go for one and a half years because we are in, we are in a Bitcoin halvening uh, year right now. But I'm just showing you and opening your mind to what's actually the reality of a lot of these things going on. So especially when it comes to Land Wolf and Pepe and everything else out here, these are the, this is just basically what you're in for. You just don't know. You don't know, friends. There's a different distribution of buyers and sellers, each one going on. And it depends on the narratives that are appearing over there. So that's why at the end of the day, don't bet more than you can afford to lose, friends. Remember, they're lottery tickets. They're lottery tickets. You just don't know. You just don't know. However, when you have an undertone story and you know, you're like, you know what? Coinbase, man, you're still ranked number 250. 300. You're not top 10 in the world from the app store. You know, the Ethereum ETF hasn't even opened yet. You know what I mean? It's coming. It's opening for trading. You see, these are the things you can always look forward to. That's bull market anxiety. That's actually what you want. You're climbing the wall of worry. And eventually you get to see how far you go. Hopefully we are all, all amongst the stars. I'm still waiting for a meme coin to hit 100 billion market cap and just make everything under 
500 million look cheap. That's what I want to see, friends. I want to see that. I want to see a 100 billion market cap meme coin, which just shocked the world, friends. And then that, that was basically like you flip the switch. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, that means everything under like 100 million is real cheap. That's that's the game, friends, being in early. It's where we are, but it's also like, you know, trotting along, trotting along. Make sure you like, subscribe, baby, and I'll catch you soon.